If you've been looking for an inexpensive way to temporarily tighten the area around the eye, get rid of crow's feet, fine lines and wrinkles, and even puffiness, I have a brand new product I'm going to be reviewing for you all on today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy St. Patrick's Day, happy Friday, all of that amazing, one of my favorite holidays of the whole year. In fact, I have traditional Irish food cooking on the stove as I'm doing this video, but I'm excited to talk to you about a product that's gonna really help tighten the area around the eye. It's a temporary product, but it works oh so well. Now, if you're new to the channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson. I'm a skincare expert, been doing this stuff for 36 years, here to help people find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet and not do them more harm than good. Speaking of St. Patrick's Day, one of my favorite sins of this time of year is the shamrock shake from McDonald's. I know, not healthy at all, but I do indulge in one or two of those every March for this holiday. And of course my birthday is in a week, so I kind of count that as cake as well. One year here in Florida, they decided not to have those and there was a huge uproar and I actually did a video on how to make your own shamrock shake at home. I will put a video link for that down below in the video description box. But no, it's not a healthier version. All right, so let's talk skincare. Fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes, also puffiness, that happens. And of course, no matter what we do as we get older, we do get a few of those that like to stick around. It seems no matter what we try to treat them with. But there are several products on the market today that work very well at tightening the skin just around and under the eye, also helping to kind of stretch out and tighten that skin where crow's feet tend to form. And the usual suspect or main ingredient in these products that helps with this is a type of silicate or clay that tightens as it dries, so it's a temporary fix. Now, the problem with a lot of these products in the past have been that the minute they get any moisture on them, they quit working. They also can leave a white kind of dusty shadow on your skin, and they don't always work well under cosmetics like makeup foundation. So I'm always on the hunt for formulations of these type of products that will last longer, not leave that white dusty cast, and work well under cosmetics. And so I want to tell you guys about this one. It's called Instatox. Now, again, on my channel, it's all about ingredients and effectiveness over brand name and price. And some of these type of products can really be very expensive. This one is not terribly expensive as these products go. And a teeny tiny, tiny little bit, and I'm going to demonstrate this for you in just a second, of this stuff goes a really long way. So it's going to last you a while, which is a good thing because I bought this. I received it. I took it into the bathroom to try to test it out. And what did I do? Wasted a good fourth of the bottle by squeezing it from the bottom. So don't do that. Tap it when you get it so that all the product comes to the top and you don't waste product like I just did. Okay, so the way this product works is that you're going to apply it ever so small amount. The key to this one working well is the smallest amount you can use possible. If you use too much, you're gonna get that white kind of clay looking powdery, dusty effect on the skin. So you wanna use very, very little. So as you can see here, there's the teeniest, tiniest amount, and this still may be too much for me to do. I'm gonna do this eye here. I'm gonna get it close. You can kind of see the little fine lines and wrinkles I have like we all do. And I'm just gonna pat this product in. just around the eye and the crow's feet area. And I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to work. Now you will feel it draw and tighten the skin. It does work under cosmetics as long as you allow it to dry all the way. I'm talking while this product is working, which you really shouldn't be doing. I should be quiet actually, because you wanna keep movements in the skin and face as still as possible for two to three minutes while this product sets up. Okay, so you can see I did a pretty good job with this. I used just enough. There's not any sort of white dusty cast to my skin, but the fine lines and wrinkles that I do have have now totally been pulled and tightened out. Now this effect will last four to six hours. So it's really great if you're going to an event, you're gonna have your photo taken, anything like that that's special. Again, it will work under cosmetics as long as you let it set up and dry. You can actually apply serums and moisturizers to your skin after applying this. So this would go on first after cleansing, clean, dry skin, then this product, allow it to set up, and then your moisturizer or your serum, you just want to dab that around the area very lightly. You do not want to rub it in because you're going to rub this stuff off. So just tapping it in, that way you've overall moisturized your face. I didn't notice any extra dryness using this product with my skincare products. And if you wear cosmetics, then apply your cosmetics and you're going to be just fine. Again, remembering to pat and tap, 
do not rub. If you rub over this product, it will come off and not work for you. Now the product is Instatox by Serious Skincare. I will put a link down below in the video description box so that you guys can check this product out for yourself. If you decide to use it, please come back to the channel and let us know how it worked for you. And for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin aging, be sure and check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on the next video. And happy St. Patrick's Day!